down here to register on Binance and as you can see due to the overwhelming surge in popularity Binance will have temporary temporarily disable new user registrations to allow for infrastructure upgrade we apologize for any inconvenience caused thank you for your support hmm that's actually really good news uh, not for anybody who wanted to see a little tutorial on how to get in on there <laughs> to register but um, still good news because that means that they as well as almost every other exchange is currently being overwhelmed by numbers of people coming and joining in and getting in on the cryptocurrency game so <clears throat> Let's go through this one then. KuCoin, it's a Japanese, or a Chinese, pardon me. I love this. English, because that's American, apparently. <laughs> uh, whatever. All right, so let's go with my... This is going to just be for the channel here, so let's hit. All right, so they match. Basically, the sign up, sign up is pretty much exactly the same. Uh, so from this point, we'll head over to open up my Gmail, and let's see. Don't see anything there yet. Uh, come on now. Come on, KuCoin. Mm, no, I don't want it. Manually enter. Has it... Has it been sent, KuCoin? No, no it has not. Okay, so that's odd. Sometimes they take a while. Already finally got my email. Ugh. stupid stuff so it's expired because I didn't look in the right spot there we go so that will just go okay. into the trash can spam can sorry zero minutes ago this one should still be good to go then <coughs> There we go. So it's basically time time sensitive um, when you get those things. So you want to get there as quickly as you can, basically as just quickly as you review them. Um, this is basically what you want to do to link uh, two-step verification. Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. I don't I don't use API keys. Uh, I stick with this stuff. Uh, just because I don't like that stuff. So, uh, never been on KuCoin. They have their own crypto as well, called KuCoin. And it looks like it just fired up against Bitcoin quite a bit. So, um, it's the Bitcoin markets. Different ones, so it looks basically about the same as all the other ones. Let's see, I want to purchase some of these, and I need to send some Bitcoin over to this address if I wanted to do that. Oh, yeah, okay. So they want to make sure you set up all of your uh, two step verification and make sure that you're ready to go. I'm not going to do all that right now. Uh, at this point, I would think most of you should be able to accomplish that. 
Um, I just think it's important to be on as many of these exchanges as possible simply because you never know when one's gonna one could go down like when they get busy these things are getting inundated like I can't even register for Binance right so just that's the kind of traffic that these uh, servers are trying to deal with um, so you never know any given one can experience that type of technical difficulty coinbase is infamous already for uh, when it's hard to get um, hold on I gotta pause uh, sorry about that I just paused and uh, completely lost where I was as far as uh, where my thought was so this video may be a little odd uh, <clears throat> So yes, KuCoin, I was, think I was just talking about how, you know, you want to make sure you have all this stuff set up. You guys should all be good knowing how to set up your uh, Google Authenticator and uh, the whatnot. So um, basically, it's just two-step verification. So whatever mobile device, you can verify that, yes, you are, in fact, the one trying to access, access your information. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so um, let's go back here. I was looking at some of this Kitcoin information, and you know, a good way to kind of monitor is you know you can watch this volume. So whenever there's a big kick, there's a big kick in volume. You can generally start to see it happen. So nothing yet, right? But we're staying around a million. A drop it down. Let's see, right at the end, we're at 1.5 million, roughly. 24-hour volume. So you want to wait and watch. So like back over here at the beginning of January, we watched it go one. It was sitting around that. Actually, let's just open it up until the past month because it really went off here. Less than a million all the way up into January. And then pow, that first little, see, not a lot in price action, but a good indication of what was a what was coming anyways nice big jump one went up to two and a half so and we've never seen it before back here we got yeah one other little jump that didn't result into too much but this time the volume didn't die off after it hung around and hung around and then you see that other jump and then it was new highs all of a sudden right away and then that's when things get exciting and then bam from one and two million dollars to 14 24 hour volume so that's why we got our huge price here and that is um, some pretty good fundamentals there as well also the little tail off here right now since that first little pop that doesn't mean that anything is going anywhere we're not going to go returning back to this uh, less than a million dollars a day stuff so Kitcoin is one I'd keep my eyes on guys I do have a bunch of this I remember I think I got a bunch of this for some other people as well so if that's the case and you are one of them then uh, you know it was at least a nice nice sign to see it start hitting some new highs like we hit uh, what was the best there in around just over 20 cents I think about 20 cents anyways so that's pretty good considering it's been riding in around you know five three two five cents roughly in the last little while so let's check out some other ones here uh, that I saw we're doing having a good day EOS I think I saw it going off yeah look at that 21% that's pretty good in a day that things are well it looks like the market's starting to come back here now so yeah it's getting busy again with EOS so I've talked about these ones in the past you guys know I'm big on them again look at that this is some serious volume in there a billion dollar and then it drops off drops off back up again I'm getting down in around half a billion and then pop 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 so let's see what do you think who knows what it could go up to this one's another technology that's a little still a little ways from uh, being implemented but let's have a look at the market cap and look at it it's just gone off the charts which is awesome which is great which is exactly what should be happening to establish some type of a baseline 
of a, for a brand new market that never existed before. Uh, let's go three, three months. All right. Look at these waves of money. And then it looks like we are about to start heading up the other side of another wave. Anyway, this one was a little was a little bit more drawn out, almost a month. Generally, you know, look, that's one to one and a half week kind of a bam, and it just keeps just keeps firing up. So our last high was. January 4th-ish, January 4th or 5th, this shish -ish. Sorry. Last high of volume. So you, the volume doesn't always indicate exact prices, but it does give you an idea of where it's going. So uh, as far as when it's getting popular anyway. Um, so the high was 8. 50 or 830, 830 was that high, and then previous high was 640 ish, 640 on the 21st. So from the 21st to the 7th, so that's two weeks. Bam, and here we are now. On the tenth, so maybe a little bit up, maybe a little bit more down, but you know it's going to continue to follow this little pattern that it's been doing, and it's not like it just started. Like, look, it's all the way back, all throughout 2017. It would continue in, uh, I would say, from 2016. Right in around here. See, up to 100 million, back down. 100 million, 200 million, down. A little bit less regularity, but the overall pattern is the same. So, keep an eye out for that type of thing. Don't think that this isn't this market isn't going to continue to swell um, for quite some time, anyways, for at least five to ten years for sure, guys. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, make sure that, uh, like I was saying, get registered on a bunch of these different exchanges. They're all fairly easy to use. They're all really quick to get set up as long as they aren't experiencing high volumes, which is also good for those of us who are already in and hold it and hodling for dear life because uh, we know that volume trend is, is only going to continue to go up. More and more and more and more and more money. So anyways, everybody take care. I think uh, it's about to really start going off here. It's going to happen. So get a little piece of the pie. Maybe you can change your future too. Anyway, talk to you later.